Welcome back my YouTube family. In today's video, we will be installing this waterfall Roman tub faucet that comes with a handheld shower. Now this particular model comes in different styles and different colors, but the installation is typical not only with this brand, but other brands that make faucets of similar style. One of the things that was unavailable as far as information on the internet was what type of connector do I need for this particular faucet. So it uses the M10 male mini connectors that go into the faucet and on the other end it's your standard 3 8 female compression threaded um, adapters. So that information right there, if I would have known that prior to, I could have done some of my pre-plumbing first before I got the actual faucet. But hey, now that you're looking at this video, you know. I can say unboxing the build quality is superb. I mean, this thing is heavy. Everything seems very intuitive as far as how it goes. Just didn't really have any qualms outside of the limited instructions that it came with. I had to go through the guest bedroom wall in order to gain access to underneath the tub. But the plumbing was what I thought it was going to be. Half inch pipe coming up through the floor. I got the appropriate shutoffs, turned off the water to the house, drained the system, and got ready to cut all that stuff out. pipe cutter wasn't going to cut this flex copper so I needed to break out my sawzall to finish the demo. Finally we just need to remove these three nuts and the existing faucet would come right on out. This faucet allows you to install the faucet, the spout, or the handheld shower, wherever you want it. Um, I have my existing three holes. I'm going to install the handheld shower on the left, the spout in the middle, and then the valve on the right. Now, I do have a little issue here with the existing hole on the left. It was damaged underneath the flange that I had, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of tub repair there. But that's not part of this video. If you want to see that, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Here I'm just making all the connections from the hot and cold supply lines to the faucet, from the faucet to the spout, which has the diverter on it, and then from the spout to the handheld shower. Notice in this installation that there's no Teflon tape needed, no pipe dope, no plumber's putty, no silicone, nothing. Just all just mechanical and hand tools. There's a weight that attaches to the handheld shower holes and here I'm just kind of gauging how far I want that to extend out which lets me know where to put the weight at which also serves two purposes one to bring the handle back down per gravity and the second so the holes won't go past where you need it to go. Next I'm going to tighten everything down 
uh, turn on the water and see how it goes. cut the hole as small as I did because I'm going to put an access panel in considering that I have shutoffs behind the wall but I'm making it work just a little uncomfortable but very doable. Again, once you get everything in position, just tighten those two screws down and make sure that you get this nut here tight. The pressure coming out of the handheld shower is perfect in my opinion. I, I think it's absolutely perfect. Now the pressure coming out of the faucet itself is not per my pipes because my previous spout probably gave me close to 10 gallons per minute. Uh, this one is probably more like 4, four gallons per minute. Um, it claims to have a max of 6 gallons per minute but coming out of those 3H three eighth inch compression fittings you're not going to get that much water flow now I probably could put in um, some half inch shutoff valves and get a MTN to half inch compression fitting whatever the case is holes is but this is fine for me I mean I'm, I'm fine with it it'll eventually fill up um, but I guess the pressure could have been better I'm here checking again for leaks uh, this is not an active leak on the floor. This is from uh, me messing with it earlier. I spilled some water down there. Uh, again, make sure that you connect those hoses correctly. <laughs> all in all, I really do love the look of the faucet. This was the one that we had got previously, but as you can see, the spout was just way too short. And plus, it only filled up two gallons per minute, which was totally unacceptable. Uh, this goes with the aesthetics of the room. I believe that this built-in aerator is the problem. Yes, it reduces the water, but why would you want to in a tub? You want that tub to fill up as fast as possible. But the faucet is a good looking faucet. It was very hard to find one that would actually fit with the aesthetics of our particular room. Hey, look at the shower. If you want to know about that, then make sure you subscribe to the channel because that's a whole deal right there. I appreciate you all watching this video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment in the comment section if you want to know more about this DIY or anything that I might have done in the past or any requests for projects that you might want to see in the future. I really appreciate you all sticking around for this one. Until the next time. Hey.